and we're the board of directors. This month's board meeting, we asked the question, are you a thermostat or a thermometer? So first of all, I think we should actually define for people what we mean when we ask, are you a thermostat or a thermometer? Um, a lot of times when you, you look at a thermostat, you understand that it regulates the temperature in the room. Uh, what it does, if you want the room to be hot, you set it at a high temperature. If you want it to be cold, you set it at a low temperature. Whereas if you're just a, thermo uh, a thermometer, what you're actually doing is giving back what's being given to you. If it's hot outside, the thermometer says, hey, it's hot. If it's cold outside, the thermometer says, hey, it's cold. So I guess what we're trying to ask people is, are you going to allow your circumstances and events that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis change the way that you are? Or are you going to be the one that regulates the situation? Are you the one that when things happen, you're going to stay cool, you're going to stay calm and collected? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think a, a great example of that will be uh, getting cut off in traffic, um, mm -hmm. especially uh, like uh, rush hour traffic when you're on your way to work early in the morning. Um, you, you woke up late, um, you must spill coffee on your shirt, um, you know, and, and now you're trying to rush to work to get to work on time because you're running late now. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, um, somebody cuts you off in traffic. And now you, you get cut off in traffic, and here's the time for you to be a thermostat or a thermometer. You know, basically how you how you react or respond to the situation. Uh, most people are going to react to the situation and be a thermometer, all because they feel like that person is intruding on their lifestyle. They, they don't know the person. The person doesn't know them. They just switch the lanes really quick because they're trying to do the same thing you're doing, trying to get to work. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is uh, react and be a jerk to it and be a thermostat. You want to chase them down and blow your horn. I'm trying to let them know you cut me off. Don't cut me off no more. Yeah. I don't. I don't Being play that. Guy. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't play that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All you can do, do the right thing is is uh, respond to the situation and, and be the thermostat. And when a person cuts you off, of course you're gonna be upset. You're gonna say, "Hey, hold up. Let me set the situation. I'm gonna rush out of traffic. This dude could have hit me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I could have been late. I could have been. Yeah, I could have yeah. been late for work. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. I could have been in a traffic accident. Mm -hmm. and I could have got hurt seriously. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so. That's the situation you want to be in. That's the kind of things you want to think about. Um, that's, that's a good example, I think, about being a thermostat or being a thermometer. Mm -hmm. And also, I think um, you have to approach the, every situation in a positive way. Mm -hmm. I mean, you first have to uh, assess the situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, good or bad, assess it. Think about the repercussions and consequences that might happen if you react the wrong way, if you are the uh, thermometer, um, and, then, and then act accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like you said before, you know, you could be, you could actually say, well, I could have, it could have been a lot worse. I could have gotten an accident. So if you're thinking like that, you're thinking in a positive light more so than in a negative light. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So what steps do you think that a young man should take in order to be able to actually be a thermostat and stay cool or, or keep his cool and regulate his situation when things arise? Well, no, number one thing I think of um, <clears throat> before the situation even happens is that you need to develop a positive mental attitude. Um, what that does is it, it causes you to um, think about think about good things, think about the, the appropriate reaction when that situation does come. Um, something you have to practice early, early. You have to get, you have to get yeah. your practice in. Uh, that way, when the situation arrives, you know how to respond. It's game time then. So when, yeah, it's, yeah, when, exactly. it's, when it's game time, you know how to yeah. respond yeah, to the situation. Like muscle memory. Like, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. But that's something that has to be developed before then. Yeah. Uh, and that, that takes picking up a book, reading a good book. It takes uh, being around good people. Yeah. Um, that, I'd be the, I guess the, the first step even before the situation even happens. But when the situation happens, uh, Jabari may mention the uh, first thing you want to do is uh, assess what yeah. just happened. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's always better to think, you know, think yourself through a situation mm -hmm. rather than, yeah, thinking is always better than reacting Absolutely. Yeah, in those yeah. situations. Absolutely. Yeah, you want to, to make sure that just like if you're playing sports, if you're a basketball, football player, whatever, that time that you're actually practicing, that's when you're getting prepared for when you get in that situation where you're in the fourth quarter and you're down by two. And, you know, what are you going to do? You don't have time. You're out of timeouts. There's no time to stop and think okay, what should I do? Mm -hmm. it, you have to give that response. So what you do in that practice session is important because when you come to that real life scenario, there's no thinking about it. You automatically, you know, you've conditioned yourself, you've prepared yourself to make the proper step. And that's that's one of the most important things to being, being a thermostat versus a thermometer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah.
that's cool. Yeah, it's, it is, it's not an overnight process. Mm -hmm. Once you make the decision to become the thermostat and not the thermometer anymore, it's not going to happen in the next day. No. Like I said, it takes time to develop that skill. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it takes time to practice. Yeah. I think it's very important to develop that skill because uh, being a, a thermostat is the best way of being a leader. Yeah. You know, because um, you know, if, if you control a situation as opposed to control, a situation controlling you, mm -hmm. you know, that's the first step to leadership. That's the first step to passing on your 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 calmness and, and control to other people. Yeah, like yeah. Exactly. yeah exactly. And I think uh, one situation in particular that I think a lot of people can actually visualize what we're trying to say here is you remember when uh, Ron Artest was playing for the Pacers oh, yeah. in, in yeah. Detroit yeah. Yeah. and oh, yeah. he was laying on the scorer's table and the guy in the crowd threw the cup on and hit him. So that was a perfect opportunity for him to say, okay, look, I have the right to be upset. You know, somebody attacks you, somebody throws something at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got the right to defend yourself, but you have to stop and think and evaluate the situation. It, it, is running into the stands and attacking this person the best thing I can do right now? <laughs> yeah. you know, is putting my so. livelihood yeah. in jeopardy the best thing for me to do right now? Yeah, he had the right, mm -hmm. but just because you have the right to do this something doesn't mean that it's the appropriate yeah. response. That's true. It doesn't yeah. make it right. That's no. true. That's yeah. true. And uh, you saying that it kind of reminds me of uh, um, responding and reacting. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you, uh, <clears throat> whenever a doctor prescribes a medication to you, you take a drug. He wants to know: Did you respond to it? Or did you react to it? Yeah. Um, if you react to the drug. Um, it's bad. It's negative. He don't want you doing that anymore. Yeah. Get away from it because it's, it's gonna it's gonna harm you more than what it needs to. Yeah. But if you respond to the drug, that's good because that's what he wants your body to do to respond to it appropriately so he can fix what's broken. Yeah. So in a situation, what do you want? Do you want to fix what's broken, or do you want to continue to perpetuate what's going on? Exactly. So yeah. we definitely want to um, make sure we respond in the situation instead of reacting. Yeah, and reacting will cause more problems than what you had originally too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely, absolutely crazy. Yeah, man, so with all this being said, man, I think um, we do address this in the book, um, The Makers of a Man. Um, we don't talk about in uh, Facing Your Storm chapter, but we talk about being able to uh, handle situations like this. Um, it's a great read. Um, if anybody hasn't picked up a copy of the book yet, I strongly suggest picking up a copy. Um, not only do we talk about Facing Your Storm, but we talk about just being a man of character in general. Definitely.